Welcome back to Legacy of Leaders on Jacksonville's Daily News Network. I'm Jack Sears, your host. And today we're visiting with Chrissy Sanchez with Transworld Business Advisors of Florida. And we're talking leadership and we're talking about mentoring and we're talking about business brokerage. Welcome to the show, Chrissy. Thank you for Great. having me. Let's, uh, let's just begin by telling us a little bit more about your business. So what we do as Transworld Business Advisors, we buy and sell businesses, we franchise them out, um, we do commercial, um, and we also do mentoring too when businesses call for it. Okay. So that's pretty much what we do in a nutshell. There's 850 plus brokers worldwide, 250 offices plus 16 office or 16 no in 16 countries. Wow. More offices. Wow, that's very it's global. Global, yes, yeah. It is a global. How long have you been doing this kind of work? So I've been in real estate because it's all under that umbrella for okay. about six years. All right. So that's how long I've been doing. I started out in Texas first. Mm -hmm. I still am very much active there. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I've pretty much been doing this for about six years, but people don't think of business brokerage as part of the real estate, but it is because you're buying and selling businesses, but then you also have commercial too. Mm -hmm. So. You know, I'm, I'm intrigued by the leadership and the mentoring aspect of your background and, and your work. Uh, could we expand upon that a little bit? Could you talk a little sure, bit more about that? Sure, sure. So I've deviled into many different roles in my life, which mm -hmm. has led me to where I am now over the years. Um, I was a mental health counselor for many years in a psych hospital back in Jersey. Okay. I was a teacher in the education program from K through 12. Um, I also had my own business, which was foreign language in Texas. Mm. Um, so I've had, you know, many different roles. I was fortunate. Um, I've done leadership, mentorship for different businesses when it calls for it. Um, of course, I'm, a, you know, entrepreneur, so I'm always creating something, new projects, new things. I really... I love to help businesses, so that's what I'm very passionate about. So any business or any company that's worked with me or any individual, they know that after working with me. So Excellent. In, in, um, as one who coaches and mentors uh, leaders, right, uh, or even business leaders, is there, a common, is there a common challenge that we all share in that arena to help us overcome that you've seen? Yes, so I feel that one of the biggest challenges among leaders, whether it's opening a business or company, regardless of the different stages you are in your life, I think failure is one of the biggest challenges. Mm. I think that if back in the day, you know, it was recognized as something very different, um, I don't know if you want to call it old school or what you want to call it, but if somebody fails, you know, you have your team or what have you, whatever right. the case is, and it, it doesn't look so good. Nowadays, things are changing. They're evolving. Um, I feel like with the leaders, if, you know, there's different stages, there's failure, and then you have to have good feedback. If you have, once you grow and learn from that, then, okay, now you're on the path to growth, and then there's success. So I feel that you know, instead of sometimes I see where people who are in charge or supervisor or what have you, it's easy for them to just say, you know what, I'm going to throw in the towel. And I you see. shouldn't. Life in itself is hard, and it could be depending on where they are, mm -hmm. the stage of their life. Yeah. You know, and as speaking for entrepreneurs, for businesses, everybody has their own business that they enter at different phases. So they could be young or older. That's so it excellent. Just depends. You know, that's great food for thought. That's excellent. So we got, uh, I know we can find you on LinkedIn, right? Yes. And Instagram, yes. right? Yes. So uh, if we want to learn more, that's where we go. And we do have one final question today. So uh, thinking about entrepreneurs, uh, what's the hardest part of being an entrepreneur? Um, I think challenges. Mm -hmm. And it depends on what your goal is, what your aim is, what career you're in. I think. Every phase of an entrepreneur, 
you have to take into consideration your personal life and also your career life, what you're doing. Mm. So I think depending what career, the logistics are the same. But I think for career-wise, I think it all has its challenges. And you just, as an entrepreneur, you have to figure that out. You okay. have to be able to grow, learn, have a very strong focus. Um, growth mindset is a big thing. So That is great. And it sounds like that if we're struggling with it, we can turn to Chrissy for mentoring and help and advice. So thank you. Great. Well, you've been a wonderful guest on our show today. Thanks for being here today. Thank you so. for having me. That's it, folks. That's what we have today for this episode of Legacy of Leaders. If you'd like to see this interview and learn more about what's going on in our community, from others, please be sure to visit us at thedailynewsnetwork.com. I'm Jack Sears, your host, wishing you a great day. Stay healthy and treat other people the way you'd like to be treated.